Welcome back. Well, right now, the number of reported cases of coronavirus uh, is up to 151. And we've been talking a lot about what that means for us here in Hawaii. So uh, we want to get right to it. We have with us this morning a community physician, uh, Dr. Jim Ireland. Thank you so much for being here uh, with us this morning. He's in studio, but we're keeping our, our social distance as we're supposed to be doing, right? Good morning. All right, thanks for being, uh, so we'll, we'll, we'll get right to it. So, I mean, we, we're up to 151 cases right now. Up until now, we've kind of seen, uh, there was a big spike yesterday, but before that, we were kind of seeing maybe a consistent number of maybe 11 or so new cases per day. Uh, we hear so much about flattening the curve. What does that mean? Is we, We've heard about the lack of testing. Where do we stand now? Well, as this coronavirus, this COVID-19 spreads throughout the world and throughout the United States and in Hawaii, you first see a case and then another case and then you know three cases and then five cases and that just keeps increasing unless you do what the governor's recommended as far as stay at home and social distancing and that's how you can actually break that climb because it will continue to climb we'll see 30 cases a day 50 cases a day you know 100 cases a day and that's really what we don't want to do and we're seeing in new york now that that city is being devastated they've run out of ventilators they can't care for people, EMS is overwhelmed, and we just don't want to be in that situation here in Hawaii at all. And so it's now is the time more than ever to listen to what the governor and the other leaders of our state and cities and counties have told us, and that's to stay home and if you must go out, practice social distancing. Now, obviously on Hawaii, we are an island, and uh, most of the cases we've seen so far have been uh, travel-related, but now certainly a lot of people are concerned. We just saw our, our first cases of first responders getting this. Uh, we've heard a lot about community spread. Are we seeing uh, evidence of that at this point? Well, I believe, and a lot of people believe, there is community spread now, um, for sure, on Oahu. Um, today, and you know, after this, I'm headed over to the hospital to see patients. Um, and you know the hospitals have PPE, everybody wears the appropriate uh, gear to take care of people appropriately and safely. However, we are, all know that household members of people who are affected and healthcare workers are particularly susceptible to getting infected and we've seen this in China and all across the country. And unfortunately, healthcare workers um, in other places have died. There was a nurse in New York City who died yesterday. We know first responders now here in Hawaii have been affected and so again, Everybody in Hawaii, every single person can make a difference on how this disease spreads in the next one to three months here. And, and that's with staying at home and social distancing. And, you know, part, part of that, of course, you know, of course, people that live here needing to stay home and following that social distancing. But we also saw those travel uh, restrictions put into place. Of course, uh, we already we already saw just yesterday down to just 180 uh, visitors when it's normally about 30,000. How soon would we be able to know if if these measures that we put into place when we talk about flattening the curve, how much of that is counteracting uh, the natural trend of this pandemic? You know, that's hard to say, but I think you know, what we do today affects how things look in two weeks. And so, you know, how things look in two weeks, I think will give us an idea, a better idea of, of how we're doing. Um, I'm glad it's down to 180. I wish it was down to zero um, people coming unless they absolutely have to, and critical workers or uh, because they have a job here that's critical to, to maintaining infrastructure in Hawaii. And, and that goes for Hawaii residents too. It's no time really to travel to the mainland because we know that you're at risk for bringing it back to Hawaii. Even if you go into a 14-day quarantine, you're at risk for bringing it home to your families. And so really the time is now just to stay home, uh, listen to the governor, and, uh, and we can make a huge difference over the next few weeks and few months here in Hawaii. And, you know, we were up to uh, 151 confirmed cases, but as we do this uh, constant testing, I mean, do you have any estimate of, of potentially how many undiagnosed cases are out there in Hawaii? There's lots of models, and I've listened to a lot of different local and other experts on this and my, my suspicion is there's at least 500 um, cases on Oahu that may or may not be diagnosed yet. Um, you know there's a hundred that we know of, um, 150 now statewide, but I think there's many more. You know just as we speak, you know I know there's six patients on Oahu on ventilators with COVID infections um, and unfortunately that may grow and, and we don't want it to and that's why it's so important now just to make those changes. And real quick, uh, just one question that we have been seeing on social media. Some people are uh, concerned about our, our more uh, remote islands, Molokai and Lanai, just not having any kind of testing at all. We heard from Dr. Scott Miskovich. Uh, they're going out there on Tuesday. Um, how do we protect uh, these, these more uh, isolated neighbor islands that right now may be some of the only places in America that don't have any cases? Well, you know, if they're 
isolating themselves on those islands and practicing social distancing, that will give them the most protection because if you don't interact with people, you know, uh, there's another doctor um, who I've worked with and is a good friend of mine, Dr. Libby Char, and what she says is just treat everybody like they're infected. You know, uh, people you meet, people you know, pretend like they're infected so it makes you keep that distance, it makes you um, want to stay away from them and kind of just take on that behavior, not forever obviously, but for now. And when people isolate themselves and social distance themselves from other people, um, you have a very, very low chance of catching this. Good advice as always. Thank you so much for uh, being here, uh, Dr. Jim Ireland. Stay safe out there. Good morning. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. And of course, we'll have the, uh, the full interview there for you at KITV.com. We're also live on Instagram. So if you have any more questions, we'll be sure and pass those along. Meantime, more news and weather coming up after the break. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii. We'll be right back.